Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's 6x6 paper pad video. Today I'm going to be using both the pastel and the more neutral paper pads for my cards and I'm going to be using the other two dies from my belated Christmas present from my son that I didn't use in yesterday's video. So if you want to know about that, check out yesterday's video. So the first thing I did was take the scraps from the design paper pad and choose three patterns. I decided on a dark brown, a tealy colour and the yellow paper with the kind of paisley pattern on it. Then I took some scraps from the pastel pad and chose three colours that were fairly contrasting. So I've got the purple stripe, a peachy abstract floral and a green and white pan. I then took each piece of paper and used my torn edge ruler to tear some edges because I wanted to layer the papers one on top of the other and have some torn edges visible. Once I was satisfied with all my torn edges, I stuck my pieces of paper onto a piece of copy paper using stick glue. Firstly, I stuck what was going to be the bottom piece down. Then I stuck the middle piece overlapping that bottom piece so that the torn edge was visible. And then I added the top piece on top. So that one went down last. So the torn edge of that is visible over the middle piece. I hope that makes sense. After I'd done that with the design paper pad pieces, I then did exactly the same thing with the pastel paper pad pieces. Next I took two frame dies and used these to die cut from the patterned paper pieces that I'd made. I used a rectangle frame die to cut a rectangle from the pastel papers and a square one to cut a square, funnily enough, from the design paper pad pieces. I then used the same frame dies to cut the frames that go with these rectangles and squares from smooth white cardstock so that I could put my patterned paper pieces on my card blanks and give them a nice stitched white frame around the outside. To adhere my frames and patterned panels to my card blanks, I simply used my high tack PVA glue, added a little so as not to buckle the card fronts and then popped them in position. For my sentiments, I chose some stamps with a really clean capital letter font. The one on the pastel card says sending love and the one on the design paper pad card says thinking of you. And I stamped these in black to help them pop and stand out. To embellish my cards, I added the die cuts that I mentioned at the start of the video. I used the dies to cut some white shapes. One is a kind of swirly whirly shape and the other one is a splat shape. I added these to the left hand sides of the panels so that plenty of the panel was still visible around them. On the design paper pad panel, I added a gold foiled flower. This was a die cut left over from, I think it was my 25 ways to use stencils video. And on the pastel paper pad card, I added a big gold heart because it has a sending love sentiment, which obviously works well with hearts. To adhere my die cuts, 
I dipped them in some more of my high tack PVA glue that I'd spread out on my glass mat and then put them in position and then press them down using a sheet of deli paper to protect them from my sticky fingers. You don't have to use deli paper for this, you can use any kind of non-stick paper that's not going to quickly or readily adhere to the glue. For a bit of extra bling, I brought in some small gold foil circles that I've cut using my cover plate die that has lots of different size circles in it. And that's this card finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of some other things you can do with 6x6 paper pads. I've got lots of sheets left in my paper pad so there will be more 6x6 paper pad videos to come. If you'd like to be notified when they air then subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell and make sure notifications for YouTube are switched on on whatever device you are using. Right, thanks for watching, I'll see you very soon, bye for now.